Hello. I haven't uploaded any videos for a while because I've been... One second. Ah, yeah. I haven't uploaded any videos for a while because I've been very busy. I have some work to do. And it's kept me busy. I wasn't able to work on any videos. So I have nothing to upload for a while. But I was doing some work here. And I saw an opportunity to make a quick video, so I'm going to anyway. I'm going to give you five seconds to notice something. I'm going to give you five seconds to notice something different on my uh, Revit interface here. Five, four, three, two, one. If you look up here, I have a new tab called PyRevit. It's an add-on I downloaded. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a detail pattern like this. I've drawn a little pattern here, I call it disjointed roof tiles, where the tiles are overlapping one another, and this is all drawn by, whoa, what's happening? What the... Yeah, okay. This is all drawn by lines, so each, uh, so each part of it is just a line, a simple line drawing. And then I, I've taken this square, and I've turned it into a, a detail pattern, which I made a detail pattern right here. Now, you'll notice some gaps in the detail pattern around here. Obviously, it needs some work. It's not perfect, so I'm just going to have to fix up these little patches here. But, yeah, it made a detail pattern. So I'm going to show you how to make your own custom detail pattern right now. Okay, so I'm going to take a square. No, I'm going to hit DL on my keyboard. Uh, let's use red. And I'm going to draw a simple square. Who cares what dimension it is? Let's just make it up. So let's call it 350 by 350. It has to be a square. Actually, it doesn't have to be a square because I'm going to show you why in a minute. And I need to draw a pattern in here. What kind of pattern shall we draw? Um, bear with me as I draw some pattern which I'm just making up on the spot. Skip ahead if you want. You don't have to watch me draw this. I'm just making it up. You can make it up if you want. Um, and I'm going to select, no, select this and click there. This was supposed to snap to the corner and I'm going to do the same for that side. I'm going to mirror this. Okay. Uh, I'll delete this and I'm going to split this. I'm creating a random pattern. You don't have to watch me. Like I said, you can just go and uh, you can just go and uh, skip ahead. Okay, so one, two, three. And I'm going to mirror this. And again, one, two, three, mirror it again. Where are you? I don't know. Uh, I want to create something else that's cool. Uh, ah, I have an idea. Uh, DL. I want the center line of this, so I can draw a semicircle. Okay, and I'm going to split this circle, and I'm going to Yeah, and I want to copy this. I want to mirror this. It's going to be cool. I'm going to show you. It's going to be really cool. Trust me. D 
The only things that matter is the black lines. We're going to ignore the red lines. Okay, there's our pattern done. A quick pattern done. Right, now I want to create, turn this into a filled region. So I'm going to highlight all of this and deselect the red lines because we don't need the red lines in our pattern. Yeah, and we don't need that one either. Or do we? No, we don't. I don't think we do. Okay. So I've selected the exact same thing all the way around. And I'm going to go into PyRevit and make pattern. Let's call it something amazing is about to happen. Because it is. That's the name of the detail pattern. I'm going to keep it as a model pattern. You can do detail pattern or model pattern. The difference is you can use the detail pattern on uh, the drafting view and the model pattern you can have it appear on your walls. So if you have a brick detail pattern on your brick wall you can remove the brick detail pattern and replace it with your fantastic pattern here and the brick wall will look like this. I'll show you in a minute actually. Create filled region, yes. Use higher, for the, yeah, whatever. And I don't know what all this means and I don't care. Create pattern. Now, when you see, when there's an orange tab up here which you can't see, but when you see that orange tab, it means you have to select from corner to corner. It's gonna include everything between these corners. Now it's creating a detail pattern, so... Huh, that was quick. Alright, now let's draw a detail pattern. Annotate, region. And I'm drawing a square, rectangle, cuboid, cube, rectangle. And I'm going to edit type, duplicate call it whoa and from here from the foreground fill pattern we can find the one we've just created in model so what, was it? what did I call it something amazing is about to happen look at that you can already see it looks weird all right watch what happens now when I hit ok and tick uh, it's it's created a pattern. You see? I know what you're thinking. You can make wallpapers out of this. You're going to open a wallpaper business now. You're going to go out there and start a CAD business that's going to be about wallpapering. And you'll be able to create wallpapers using this add-on. Okay, I'm going to draw a wall now. And I'm going to see what it looks like when you change the brick pattern into uh, the new one that we just made. Okay, so select the wall, edit type. I'm going to duplicate this to weird wall and edit. Actually, you know what? We're not going to change the brick pattern. Actually, we'll change both. We'll change both. So the brick common pattern. I go into here and wait and wait even longer and keep waiting and keep waiting more and keep waiting until my coffee gets cold and I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and keep waiting okay the foreground fill pattern I'm going to change that to where is it this Okay, and I'm going to change the plaster as well to make it look like we have a, a new wallpaper inside our home. Surface pattern, so change it from none into model. Something amazing is about to happen, it sure is. Okay, okay, you can see it already. That 
is a weird wall. And this is a cool wallpaper. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'm going to include the link to this add-on in the description below. I'm sure you can work it out yourself, unless you want me to make a tutorial on how to download it and install it. But it's very simple. Just find it, click it, install it, and then make, make sure your Revit is not open so that it will install without any issue. Then once it's installed, open Revit and you'll get this new tab here. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.